In this video, I will briefly explain how my foam cutter works. Let's start with the tensioning mechanism. There's a spring that keeps the heating element in tension. The heating element itself is secured with nuts on both ends. The ends of the heating elements are connected to wires that runs to this box on the back. Now I'll open it and we'll see what's inside there. From here you can see all the components. The first is a PC fan powered by an old smartphone charger. All the machine can be turned on with this switch. I added this part just now. It's a light dimmer that will regulate the current going into the transformer. The transformer comes from a microwave oven. And as you can see, I replaced the secondary winding. Now it's composed of 10 turns of 5mm copper wire. The second winding then directly connects to the heating element. This is an original microwave transformer. Here you can see better both the primary winding that connects to the main voltage and the secondary winding. To remove the secondary winding you can cut both ends with a metal saw. But you have to be very careful to don't damage the primary winding or the metal cage of the transformer. All this structure has been made with reclaimed wood and MDF, so it's not pretty, but it gets the job done. To connect it to the mains voltage, I use these power supply plugs, that are very handy if used on many tools. The wire heats up depending on the position of the dimmer knob. The hotter it gets, the faster it cuts through foam. And that's all, I hope this will help some of you. And please let me know what you think about this in the comment down below. See you on the next one.